Well, hello there. Welcome to Check It Out Videos. My name is Isaac Chang, and today it's quite an unexpected release. Uh, I know I promised a video after Watches and Wonders, but well, this popped up, and I thought I should discuss a little bit on it since I got a little hands on and live pictures to show you. Sorry, no video footage because uh, we are not allowed to actually try them on, but uh, I'll just share some of my thoughts with you and how it looks like in the flesh. So let's get to it. It's very timely. The missus is occupied with the second season of the Bridgertons and the baby's just entertaining herself with uh, whatever things she can find on the floor. I finally have some time to make this video. It's gonna be a quick one though. Well, way to go, Swatch and Omega. That is some genius marketing there. Uh, well, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's all over the internet. No introduction needed. And of course, there's comments out there saying that, well, is this diluting the brand for Omega? Well, I think on the contrary, it's not diluting. Instead, it's diversifying the brand for Omega. As Omega, it's a more prestigious brand and you can only purchase the Speedmaster for about $6,000 or so. This $250 Swatch Omega, uh, it, it really opens up the market to everyone. And what a way to get, get people to start in uh, the watch collection hobby. So a few years down the road, as we climb up the ladder, our, our salary increase. Uh, there you go, new customers for Omega. And uh, some of new new collectors, in case you don't know, Swatch owns Omega, Tissot, Mido, Blank Pan. And as surprising as it is, it should come to no surprise uh, that they would eventually collaborate someday. I mean, uh, they have a bridge in their campus, a beautiful campus there, designed by Shigeru Bran, one of my favorite architects. Oh, uh, it's it's if you're if you're saying that this would be uh, cheapening the brand of Omega, do keep in mind that Lamborghini Bentley is owned by Volkswagen, Mini and Rolls Royce is owned by BMW, and Ferrari is owned by Fiat. So yeah. Well, for some of the purists, uh, could this be sacrilege to the Speedmaster Moonwatch? Well, I guess there's two ways to look at it. Uh, this, this is not intended to be a serious uh, watch. It, it's, it's made of plastic, or as they call it, bioceramic. But uh, yeah, it's just a fancy name for plastic. And I think this would be a cool collection to add to the watch hobby. It's not a, a grail piece, you know. It's basically just a, a throwaway watch that you can just buy and beat around. And if it breaks, well, you just get another one. And I'm sure this will definitely uh, not make Omega lose any of its uh, fan base or affect any of its sales. Instead, I'm sure it would boost. They are going to sell like hotcakes and they already did. As you can see uh, from the images around the world, Malaysia, Hong Kong, people have started queuing up as early as two days before the launch of the watch. And even in Bangkok, the Swatch has decided to close all boutiques due to the crowd and uh, everyone had to walk away empty-handed. In this time of pandemic, it's seriously not wise to have such large crowds gathering. This is not a limited edition or a limited run as you can clearly see from the Swatch website. They have clearly stated that they will be restocked in a couple of weeks and it's going to be available online as well. So guys, please just keep your cool and do not feed the madness from the flippers out there. These watches look great in pictures, but if you see them in real life, they are no way uh, the same as an actual Speedmaster in the metal. Keep in mind, when you're looking at the Moon Swatch, this is the level of quality you're actually looking at. It may look like an Omega, but deep inside truly, it's a Swatch. In the flesh, the case is made of plastic, also they call it their bio-ceramic. Um, yeah, but anyway, it, it just it just looks like plastic. So uh, you you get the swatch movement, you get the yeah acrylic for the crystal, and a bio ceramic case. Well, the cool thing about the moon swatch is that you get the S etched on the, the center of the crystal, uh, where in the Hasselite Crystal Omega, you get the Omega logo instead on the center of the hands. So th this is a cool feature, a nod to the the Speedmaster but under the skin it's a swatch so the movement is a swatch you can find the same movement in this swatch and coming in a stainless steel case with half the price and with a date 
So guys, please, uh, this is by no means an Omega. It, it's essentially a swatch under the skin. So it's, it's, it's just all the design and the hype, which, which is cool. But please do not pay over retail for this watch. This is by no means a luxury watch. So just be patient, your time will come. Swatch will restock their inventory and everyone will be able to get a piece. So don't feed the madness from the flippers out there, guys, seriously. Just wait. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for tuning in for this short clip. Cheers.